Have you ever wondered why it's so hard to make new vaccines? Well, one reason is we can't measure vaccines in the same way that we measure other things. We can measure the number of steps you take each day, maybe 10,000. The number of gallons of gas it takes for the average person to get to and from work each week, 15. We can even measure the number of pounds of fuel it takes to lift a person into orbit, 42,000. Why don't we have the same ability for vaccines? Well, part of the reason is we can't measure the same basic parameters in a vaccination that we can for these other examples. My lab seeks answers. We have two types of experiments where we want to know, first, how many immune cells need to be activated to elicit a protective response in a vaccination. We perform an experiment where we load immune cells with a light-sensitive compound, inject them into the foot pad of a mouse, shine light on that foot pad, and then observe how many of the cells migrate after 24 hours. Using this measurement, we can calculate exactly how many cells have migrated in order for the vaccine to be protected. The other question we ask is how many molecules does it take to activate a single cell? We use the same light-activated compound, but now, looking at individual cells, we shine light on each cell, the light activates the molecule, unlocking a lock, and we can observe the change in a protein within the cell, measuring activation. Using novel chemical tools, we're able to measure basic parameters of vaccination. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching.